politics. We don't care whether you're Republican, independent, Democrat, it doesn't matter. We want you to just listen to someone's story. Take politics, take all of that out of it. Just listen to someone's story. And then a picture I brought back from friends. Sue Geegan lives in Palatine, not far from her job the last 17 years, at her church in nearby Inverness, Illinois. Over the years, her titles changed. The director of social justice, the director of peace and justice, the director of outreach and social justice. Yet her job descriptions remained the same. Outreach to the community. Holy Family's Lenten Project raised big bucks for Southern border relief in 2019. Before fundraising, Sue and a group from her parish traveled to border hotspots in New Mexico, Texas, and Arizona. They even crossed into Mexico. So part of our immersion trip with Catholic Extension was to go to multiple agencies that were serving immigrants. So our first day we were at Kino Border Initiative, which is very unique. They have an agency in Nogales, Arizona. They also have an agency in Nogales, Sonora, Mexico. So Nogales is just split right down the middle. They get food, they get some drink, they get their feet taken care of, because you can imagine a lot of them, I mean, they're all on foot, so they have a lot of ailments with their feet. They went behind the news headlines. Rhetoric became living, breathing reality. Come into the, the aid center and their heads are just down like this and their shoulders are all, and you can just see that they feel like they're nothing. Their life is just worthless. Father Sean Carroll starts speaking to them and little by little then, their heads pick up, and he treats them with dignity. Since its founding 35 years ago, Holy Family appears to be flourishing, with 4,000 families totaling 15,000 members. The church's reach is vast, drawing from 120 different zip codes across Illinois. Home base for the parish is in Inverness, where the median household income is almost $174,000 a year and the number of people living in poverty is less than 1%. Uh, guys, it's not about immigration and it's not about politics. Pastor Terry Kean leads Holy Family, and he's been to the southern border twice. It's, it's just like a doctor, you know, you can, you can treat symptoms or you can treat a disease, and it's really difficult for us to treat a lot of the disease that's associated with this. We're treating symptoms, people coming to us desperate seeking, uh, obviously, a better way of life. And so we said, share a little of your story. Why are you running? And he said he had been kidnapped, and I believe it was um, in Ecuador. He was held and tied up, and he was told that the next day he was going to be killed and slaughtered and ripped open like a pig. So what they do is they harvest people's organs. So he was going to be having that fate. So um, he found a way to escape and get out of the ties, and he ran. An appetite for drugs, primarily from the United States, gives people in Guatemala an unbelievable motivation to make money. And then they use that uh, as a way of garnering and in recruiting gang people in their countries. And then when these people don't want to join the gang, it's the unbelievable violence that is done to them. So those who don't want to join gangs, then that's why they're fleeing. That's why they're coming north. Responses from Holy Family's parishioners covered the gamut from anonymous negative emails to vocal, hearty support. We had verbally, there were many that just said, this is not right for the church. We don't understand why you're doing this. It's too political. It's making us too uncomfortable. And then other people with great pride in the fact that Holy Family is addressing this. But a lot of other churches, including Catholic churches, don't want to even address it. If we are a faith-based organization and we follow, we want to be disciples of Jesus Christ. That's exactly what Jesus did. He, um, he comforted the afflicted, but he afflicted the comfortable. So if you get too comfortable in something, sometimes you can put blinders on and you just miss the whole point because it is very uncomfortable. 
Julie Peterson, Inverness, Illinois.